vote counting began in Sierra Leone on Saturday following a mostly peaceful general election despite a late start in some polling stations as the opposition denounced alleged irregularities. President Julius Madabir is seeking a second term amid a crippling cost of living crisis that sparked deadly riots last year. Twelve men and one woman are vying for the top job, though Bio's main challenger is Samola Kamara of the All People's Congress. Bio, 59 years old of the Sierra Leone People's Party, narrowly beat Kamara, who is aged 72 years old, in a runoff in 2018. Polling stations were scheduled to open at 7 a.m. and close at 5 p.m., but many stations in the capital of Freetown opened late AFP, journalist Seoul. By 5.40 p.m., tarling had begun at the Abadin pol police station in a free town. Many stations were likely to remain open longer after the Electoral Commission confirmed in a statement that all voters in queue at 5 p.m. would be allowed to vote. Polling is going on in a relatively peaceful manner, the Commission said in a statement there were logical challenges in some polling centers relating to the late arrival of materials. After casting his ballot at the Wilberforce Ballocks in Freetown on Saturday morning, Bio encouraged citizens to participate peacefully. Go out and vote. It's your right, he said. Vote safely. If you win, celebrate safely. Kamala voted in a free town neighborhood of Rumley, telling reporters that the selection is about the future of Sierra Leone. But he said the polling station, which opened more than two hours late, an AFP journalist saw was congested. Don't be surprised if there is confusion, he said. Kamara has for two weeks lambasted the Electoral Commission for alleged bias in favor of the governing party. National Election Watch, a coalition of civil society groups, said 84% of the polling stations it was observing had opened by 8 a.m. However, only 59% of stations in the Freetown area had opened by that time. Two AFP journalists arrived at a polling station in central Freetown on Saturday afternoon where voting was just getting underway. A soldier present said voting had started at, 8, at 2 p.m. I'm so impressed by the resilience and fortitude of voters, many of whom stood in line for hours in the hot sun to exercise their right to vote, U.S. Ambassador David Raymond said on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching.